Hey guys, welcome to another video from EcoPoint. Today I want to discuss something very special with you guys. Well, a lot of students approach me often with one particular question. And the question is, how to approach mathematics when it comes to CUET PG exam? And what books we should refer to? So in case you also have the same question in your mind, then keep watching. Well, I'm going to divide this video into two parts. So one part is how to approach mathematics, how to study mathematics, and the other part is what books you must refer to. When it comes to referring to books uh, in mathematics for CUET PG specifically, there are two kind of students. Well, there are some students who did not opt for maths in 11, 12, but still they want to pursue economics as higher studies. And there are some students who are already doing economics in graduation and they want to now pursue post-graduation in it. So keeping that in mind, let's describe what should be the process and what books we must refer to. In case you come from a non-mathematics background, that is, you did not have mathematics in 11th and 12th, then how can you start your preparation for CUET PG entrance exam when it comes to mathematics? Well, very simple solution. You will have to and you must start by working out class 12th mathematics. And for that, what do you have to do? You have to pick up the basic two books of mathematics and nothing else. I just want you to do in CERT. That's the least that you can do. What you can do is you can start your preparation with NCERT of class 12. Well, if you have enough time and uh, you wish to work a little more, you should actually start with class 11th. But if time is a constraint, then at least start with class 12th mathematics. And when I say class 12th mathematics, you will have to complete these two books. There are two parts to uh, mathematics in class 12 part 1 part 2 let me just show you what all you need to do so in class 12th your syllabus consists of functions your syllabus consists of set theory relations and trigonometry matrices determinants etc what you need to do you need to definitely work on relations and functions that's the base for everything all type of functions, all relations, everything regarding binary operations, you should know. Well, when it comes to trigonometric functions, trigonometry here in 11th, you work a little more on trigonometry and here you have inverse trigonometric functions. Well, trigonometry, uh, as far as entrances are concerned, it's not that you get direct questions. It's very rare that you will see direct questions, but the base of sine cos tan that's something that you must know because it it can happen that they ask you question in calculus which is relating to sine cos tan so the basic thing about uh, basic geometry about sine cos theta tan theta basic formulas i think you should be well acquainted with that then as you can see comes matrices and determinants extremely important because in graduation you have to go through something called linear algebra, right? And in the entrances, they are expecting linear algebra out of you. Especially if I may quote ISI and IIT jam, they definitely ask you some linear algebra, okay? They have been asking. Now, just don't go by one year paper. Please remember one thing. Just don't go by one year past, one past year paper. Please try to understand that in the past, See, this year, if they've asked something, maybe they will not ask the same thing in the next year. But maybe two years later, they ask something related to that. So once it has come in the entrance and it's mentioned even indirectly in the syllabus, you should be well acquainted with it. So class 12th maths is the base for everything. That is why whether you need to take help from someone, if you are not from a maths background, if you need help of someone, please take help. Take help of all the videos available and all I need you to do is complete the chapters with at least at the least 
do all the examples given. Also, if you have enough time, please do go through the exercises as well. All I'm asking you is to do NCERT. That's something that we can start with. Matrices determinants is extremely important because you will be working on functions of many variables and there it, it becomes of key importance. Next you would see is continuity and differentiability. Yes, calculus is extremely important from entrance point of view. Calculus ki ek ek cheez aapko aane chahiye and that too logic should be very clear. So please read every word that is given in continuity differentiability because vahi cheez hai, vahi logic aage jaake extensive hota jayega. So be it particular functions, differentiation and differentiability do alag alag cheez hai wo aap ek bar karenge to aapko pata lagega then you will be able to do the application of derivatives application of derivatives again extremely important application of derivatives se aapka aa jata hai optimization maxima minima etc in your 12th class level of course it won't be too heavy but jaise aap graduation mein aayenge you would see economics is all about optimization for that matter to ye to hai aapka jo part 1 hai Okay, NCRT part 1. All I am asking you to do is NCRT at the least. NCRT notes banane hai aapko ek ek cheez ke. Notes banaiye aur saath mein uske example zaroor kariye please. So next is once you are through with calculus part 2 of this mathematics class 12 comes in. And this part consists of integration and integration se linked kuch cheez hai. So you will observe here integration and application of integration. Very important again from entrance point of view. Class 12th book will give you that base. This is something that I am telling for everyone. Okay, Whether you are coming from mathematics background or non-mathematics background. Sab ko ye revise karna hai. Integration is useful in certain dynamic concepts in economics. Also in probability distribution of continuous random variables integration is the core of it so you need to know integration ki jo theory hai kya ho raha hai kaise ho raha hai instead of cramming please understand the theory behind everything integration application of integration integrals is equally important kyunki area under the curve so ultimately jo applications hoti hai na wo area under the curve wali hoti hai so that is what is very important and Agar integration aata hoga, then only you can talk about differential equations and differential equations is a part of your syllabus as far as entrance is concerned. Phir aa jata aapka vector algebra. Vector algebra is the base for aage jake jo sara linear algebra hai aapka jo ki aap, if you do it thoroughly from class 12, to thoda vector algebra aapko aa jayega with which linear algebra will become a little simpler for you to understand. So, vectors ke aage badenge three dimensional geometry hai. Three dimensional geometry mein it will teach you certain things, uh, you know, of uh, planes. So, important hai. Direct question aay na aay. Kisi kisi question mein kahi na kahi use ho sakta hai. Plus, these things again as I said, they are something that will help you out in linear algebra. Linear algebra, kahi baar dekha gaya hai ISI, IIT mein. पहले DSA में भी काफी आता था. Let's see अभी आगे क्या pattern बनता है. But don't just go by. Don't judge a paper by just like two year paper or something. Okay. Things can change anytime. So कभी भी जो shock आता है वो किसी एक साल में ही आएगा. We have to be very well prepared. So think about it. If you are going for a post graduation entrance exam, they will expect things that you should know up to the graduation level, right? So, linear algebra is a part of it. Kahin pe bhi aap dekhenge, like ISI, IIT, we have to prepare up to all levels, okay? So, kabhi kabhi to simple cheez a jati hai, but kabhi kabhi in depth wali koi cheez a jati hai. So, please definitely three dimensional geometry bhi kariye. And then comes linear programming. Linear programming optimization ka hi ek pehlu hai samaj lije. Linear programming is important from graphical point of view, you know, how you can find out solutions. Kahi baar direct questions aate hai linear programming ke. If you know the base 
from class 12 you will be very comfortable when you do the graduation level syllabus now probability ye statistics are part mein manungi i'll talk about statistics on some other day in some other video but yeah probability again if you are looking for something basic probability i would suggest first go through this and then try to jump on to any other book so, ये तो कहानी थी class 12th mathematics, okay? Class 12th mathematics, again I would reiterate, if you are going for an entrance for PG, don't expect that only class 12th level of maths would come. This is the base. This is the base for all, all of you who are sitting for this entrance. Not just people who, uh, you know, have not taken mathematics in 11, 12. This is something that all of you should do. This is the first part of your preparation. And then comes the graduation level part. That means, of course, if you're going for PG entrance, they would expect things out of graduation. Now, look at this book. This is Essential Mathematics for Economic Analysis. So, uh, what I have right now is a four authored book, but you can also just take Sid Satan and Hammond, the two authored book. More or less the topics are same, okay? More or less same hi topic hai. Koi chapter is me upar hoga, usme niche hoga, isme niche hoga, usme upar hoga, okay? But more or less everything is same. So what do you think we have? What we have to prepare? Again, let's go through the content of this book. So observe what we have. We have set theory. We have algebra. So you have to know entire set theory, logic. And that gives you the base for functions. Jo ki aap 12th se karte hoi aa rahe ho. But of, but of course, when it comes to the graduation level, it will be more extensive. You have to get even more in depth. Okay. Algebra, real numbers ka sara algebra jo hai. That is something that is expected out of you. You must go through this chapter also. Solving equations, extremely important. Solving equations is extremely important. Your linear algebra will be based on solving equations. And here you will learn about different, different uh, degree equations. How to solve those. Important from exam point of view, you do get questions, direct questions from there. Then they have functions of one variable of course class 12th ka maths karke aapko functions kuch samaj aayega lekin yaha pe aur thoda in depth jana hoga graphically dekhna hoga so go through this chapter as well then uh, function se hi aa jata hai aapko properties of function after that you have differentiation so basically the entire calculus now calculus comes in play after functions calculus limits continuity differentiation is sari ki sari aapko chapter 6 7 में मिलेगी एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डेरिवेटिव आपको चैप्टर 8 में मिलेगा दिस इज ऑल वन वेरिएबल राइट नाउ मस्ट टू डू ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज पिक अप दिस बुक क्रिएट योर नोट्स इन योर नोट्स हैव एवरी डेफिनेशन एवरी थ्योरम व्हाट यू नीड टू डू इज हर थ्योरम का जो प्रूफ है यू डोंट हैव टू मग इट अप यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट प्रूफ व्हाटएवर यू हैव अंडरस्टूड आउट ऑफ द प्रूफ राइट दैट डाउन सो दैट व्हेन यू आर रिवाइजिंग इट विल हेल्प यू you have integrals again. You have integration. So in integration, indefinite, definite integrals. 12th may be kari hai. Thoda sa or extend ho jayega. Financial mathematics mein yaha par anone, they have given all the series, geometric series and all series is important. Sequences and series, very important. So wo yaha par aapko milega. Then functions of many variables. Functions of many variables may add the least two variable functions are extremely important. So please do that. Definitely wo karna hi karna hai. Fir aajata hai for comparative statics. So uh, the tools for comparative statics mein aapka basically application of derivatives hi samjhi hai isko. You know but uh, homogeneous functions, homothetic functions, ye saari cheeze isme aa jayengi. Jo ki ek important part hai for your examination preparation. So please definitely ye kari hai. Multivariable optimization, bilkul two variable is the minimum that you have to have to do. Then constraint optimization, Lagrange, etc. Ye hum logo ko karna hai. And after that you have matrix and vector algebra. Matlab pura linear algebra basically aapko yahan pe milega. Kaafi linear algebra aapko aana chahiye. Linear algebra is all about playing with equations, linear equations. So you must know that how to go about it. 
तो यहां पर आप देखेंगे लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग भी है लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग इज अ पार्ट ऑफ यू नो योर सिलेबस फॉर ग्रेजुएशन एंड द एंट्रेंस स्पेशली यू कैन डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू यू हैव टू मेक नोट्स ऑफ एवरीथिंग दैट इज देर इन दिस बुक वॉट डू यू नीड टू डू आपके पास जैसे यहां पर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग एन एग्जाम्पल यू इंटरमीडिएट वैल्यू थे Now, intermediate value theorem. There must be some statements written out here. Look at the statements. Whatever these statements are saying, write the essence of it. Write down what you have understood out of it. You don't really have to prove it, prove it. But, आपको उसमें से क्या समझ आया? वो आपको लिखना बहुत जरूरी है. Understanding of this is very important. So, whenever there is a theorem, theorem is a logical statement, a logical deduction. So, what is the logic behind? Just write that down. उसके बाद आप देख सकते हैं कि थ्योरम के बाद आपको हमेशा कोई ना कोई क्वेश्चन मिलेगा वो क्वेश्चन जरूर करना है ऑल एग्जाम्पल शुड बी डन बिकॉज आफ्टर डूइंग दिस क्वेश्चन यू विल रियलाइज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ दिस थ्योरम ऐसा हर बुक में किसी ऑथर की बुक फॉर दैट मैटर दैट विल हैपन यू नो देर आर मोर बुक्स लाइक ए सी चियांग साइमन एंड ब्लोम बट दिस इज द बेस बुक आई वुड से फर्स्ट यू मस्ट गो थ्रू दिस so what do we have to do we have to write down all uh, we have to write down all definitions we have to write down all theorems and the proofs associated to it don't just read this book reading it is very important why do you think you have so much english in a maths book why do you think this book is so thick because it's not just a book of questions and answers it is trying to give you the logic behind everything so read it and make notes out of it it's mathematics you got to solve it lastly so what should be the procedure the way you should study mathematics first of all please read but not just read you have to make notes make notes and solve the more you solve the more you will understand for example you know aap koi bhi kaam agar bar bar karte ho aap usme confidence aata hai aapko for example if you start traveling solo when you go for the first time maybe you're nervous second time it'll feel better third time even better even better so on and so forth so the more you practice the same thing you will gain confidence in in it therefore maths mein hame yahi karna hai If you feel that you are weak in maths, what do you have to do? You have to practice. लेकिन practice कब शुरू होगी जब logic clear होगा तो logic clear करने के लिए you have to make notes. Don't rely on someone else handwriting. Don't rely on someone else's notes. No. Remember, there's a synchronization. There's a synchronization uh, of our brain with our hand when we are writing something. It stays here. You are just actually helping. yourself memorize something for a longer period of time you're just helping your brain nothing else so please write down everything and everything is important you know what is important it's all about just kick starting it the moment you kick start and never look back i believe that you can achieve whatever you wish to all the best all the times this is what i wanted to discuss today thank you very much for watching